back on the Helitech International show floor. I'm here at Paul International and I'm about to find out why filtration is so important in the aviation industry. And here to tell me all about that is Director of Product Marketing for Paul. It's James Hardy. James, how are you doing, sir? Good, David. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Right. So filters, that's what we're talking about today. Now, I'm going to admit... It sounds boring, right? Well, so. I'm not going to say it sounds boring. You're going to make it sound interesting. So first of all, tell me about Paul uh, and tell me why filtration is so very so, important. So Paul Aerospace, we're the largest aerospace filtration company in the world, part of a much larger uh, technology consortium of filtration products across many lines of business, different industries. So in aerospace, we focus on basically the entire aircraft, um, hydraulics, lube, uh, lubrication oils, uh, fuel, and of course air. They got to filter the air. So we focus at this show on the helicopter industry on pure air. And that's the air mostly going into your engine, giving you the power for your helicopter. So keeping that air clean going into the engine, keeping the engine from, from being damaged or ingesting any FOD uh, is a very, very important uh, aspect of, of helicopter operations. So silly question time again. I'm going to ask a few silly questions. Um, what sort of things, what, what sort of airborne things are we trying to filter out here? Well, you get your basic sand and dust, right? So sand and dust, you got these turbine-operated helicopters that operate at very, very high uh, rotational speeds. The sand and dust can really damage the, the veins on those, uh, on those engines. So you go around and walk these pristine engines. You come in with high-speed particles, you're just going to erode those blades. So these filters, these pure air dry barrier filters in our Vortex system technologies remove sand and dust particles. Those are really the most important damaging things, in addition to things like birds, and other airborne. Uh, sure. So these uh, filters that we're just taking a look at on camera right now, um, just just talk me through these. So I take it this is a uh, this is a, a pure air dry barrier filter. It's a it's a direct replacement for actually some of our competitors' systems oil wetted barrier filters, which is conventional technology. So this is dry filtration technology does not rely on oil to capture the contaminant and can be washed off with water. So it's a reusable filter drops right into our competitor's system and gives you all the benefits of their system but with the ease of use and cleanability of a dry media filter. I'm going to ask another silly question now just because this isn't my area of the industry at all uh, and if you don't have an answer for this then that's fine. You're talking about dry and you're talking about oil. Is that a kind of measurement of efficiency in terms of how maybe like resistance, how easy it is for air to work its way through the filter? I'm thinking oil is going to be Air's going to have to work quite hard to get in, whereas with something dry, maybe a little bit less hard. Oh, you, we, you give our, our competitors the benefit of the doubt here. Their oil wetted filters, in terms of airflow, the way the air gets to the engine, we have equivalent airflow as them. So yeah. we certainly couldn't get by if we had restricted the airflow more. So we have equivalent airflow. And we provide the same level of protection with a dry media. So the main thing with an oil wetted filter is actually a fairly open filter but the oil is doing the capturing of the contaminant, it requires to be properly oiled, properly maintained to do its job. These filters do their job without really any maintenance burden. So as constructed, as the media is put together, that's what does the job of filtration, as opposed to relying on the maintainer, applying oil to the filter to do the filtration job. Terrific, just having a look around these uh, samples that you've got here, is this, yeah, is this one, one of yours? Yeah. So uh, next door to us, we have Dart Aerospace, you know, key partner. You notice you know, we have a carpet demarcation line here. So we've got Paul Aerospace on this side, Dart Aerospace on that side. Uh, we're a risk-sharing partnership on, on a specific product line called the PA100 PR system, whereas these dry barrier filters rely on capturing the dirt, and then it has to be cleaned later. Uh, the PA100, which has a Vortex system technology, uh, removes the dust, uh, centrifugally and separates it and sends it back overboard. Oh, wow. So uh, this is uh, you know legacy product line that we have on many many different aircraft. You walk around the show, you can see these Vortex type systems. But this is a fourth generation Vortex system for the AS350 and the EC130 uh, that we brought to market with Dart as an STC. Dart is the STC holder. We're a risk sharing partnership and bringing the PA100 to the market. This is our second year having it on the market, and we're just on the cusp of getting our EASA certification so we can really bring it to the European market and give the operators the benefit of basically maintenance-free engine protection. Listen, James, that's absolutely fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for showing us around the, the Paul, um, Paul technologies here. Have a great rest of show. Thank you. Yeah.